M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the Radiolity GD88 APRS and the Radiolity DB25, which are both use the same code plug. So let's have a look at the instructions here from Radiolity, which I think are quite good. So I'll put the link in the description for this. So guide how to set up APRS to Radiolity DB25. So basics, update the radio to the latest firmware, always read the code plug, from the radio, make uh, make a change to Coblog and then write it back uh, to the radio. Okay, never write data to the radio from a different version of CPS. The guide will work only in Windows environment. So, PC laptop. So, settings if you're using the radio. So, press menu, go to uh, GPS switch and you'll see, see it. So, menu, go to G GPS switch, you'll see the menu, red icon. Enable GPS switch under GPS serial data tick all the boxes. Go to calibrate and set up, set the auto. Now go back to the appendix menu and choose APRS. In the APRS menu, you have five options APRS type, analog, APRS, DMR, APRS, time, and beacon. So yeah, select APRS. You will see four options select DMR and analog APRS. Under analog APRS, choose PTT upload and choose TX end. All other settings will be made in the CPS. And so now we go to the CPS, which I'll also have a link in the description. Uh, connect your radio, USB cable, set the proper USB by clicking COM port, which is here. I've done this already. And then you get a drop down for COM port. Choose the proper COM. Just to get your COM, just go right click and just go device manager here. I'm on Windows 11 actually, but Windows 10 should be fine, Windows 7. So look, it'll be here, listed here, it'll be GD32, or probably what shows. But on here it shows device prolific serial. So on to the next part, always read from the radio, do not open saved code plug. So you're reading from the radio first. So to read, you just click here, read, look, it says it here, read, and then it's got your radio. Go to the DMR service uh, and set GPS to on, GPS interval 10 seconds and GPS to off. So you've got it here, all set up there. And remember, I haven't got this radio. So under the APRS menu, you've got the following. So let's uh, do what they say. So manual TX set to 15, APRS auto 30, GPS location, obviously you, in England, it would be 144800, so that's analog APRS, I would say. And then your SSD, yeah, the, the, the little number after your APRS uh, call sign, wide 1.1, your sending text, so you type what you're going to type there, your call sign here. It looks pretty straightforward to me. And then reporting, we do this, the reporting thing, we do that in, um, in, our, in our any tones, don't we? So number one, so channel, current channel, APRS talk group, so choose that. On here, it's this one, 293999. Uh, Slot 2, private core, PTT on. So, black frame setting, manual TX, auto interval. So, it's all here. You can see it under beacon, green frame settings, 1.5.2. There you go. Be aware the coordinate are in Slovenia right now. Okay. So this is the format, red frame setting. So I get it now. So you've got the black frame, green, red, blue, and yellow. And they're describing it all here in these sections here. Just copy it all. And this is what you'll get, hopefully, if it works. Yellow frame settings. Yeah, well, we know that refers back to the bottom line here. Um, so... Digital APRS registering at Brandmeister. So you do need to, for digital APRS, you must be registered to Brandmeister. Please check what type of DMR repeaters are in your country. So go to the Brandmeister network and just put Brandmeister into Google and register and uh, that'll be fine. And you can choose here as well, your brand interval. All the settings are here. Do not forget to press the save button. <laughs> so that's it really. So um, channel setting in your code plug for analog APRS. Uh, so here's your code plug and uh, analog APRS is here. Let's just get it right. That's analog. Let's see if it does digital. We'll go further down. 
digital APRS. So here's all your settings here. No, in Europe, digital APRS is allowed to transmit only on time slot two. I never knew that. I should know that. So look, there's all your settings. Look, just follow, copy what's on this thing, freeze frame and copy it. And then you've got a close up here, zone one, again, using that same talk group, slot two, private call, how to obtain GPS lock on your radio. So option one, you need to open spare area and have visible look to the sky. Turn on your radio and wait for the GPS lock. So that is like the any tone, isn't it? Um, there you go. Option two, or you can buy a GPS antenna. So I, I think very good uh, instructions, actually. So I'll put the link in the description. Um, the GD88 isn't quite out yet. These are about £200 in the UK. Very nice looking. I've got so many radios, I'm not going to be buying it. But I do really like the DB having a base station version because uh, I actually haven't got a base station DMR radio. But at the moment, I'm like, oh, you've got too many radios, Andreas. But this looks really nice to me. Uh, if you think about it, the, the 578, which is sort of this kind of radio, the Anytone 578, I think they're like £350. So it does seem like quite a good price for a base station DMR. But whether, I mean, the, the, the code plug, which I've downloaded here, you do have to get used to it. Here it is here. And then, again, like I said, the com you select here, I'm going to drop down. I found that zone, you just go down to zone and you right click and it shows that, you know, the zones you've created and to add a zone, it's quite simple. You just click on it and look, you can add zones here. Just click add and it adds a zone and to see the zone again, uh, you just right click it. See that my mouse, right click. And then if you want to look at channels, when you right click and right click the channel as well, the channels get listed. So let's do that again. So, so you, let's just go back to nothing. So right click and the zones you've created show uh, and then go to the zone you want to ch add the channels to because you put channels inside zones right click and the channels you've created so far will be here there'll always be one and look you just click add and then when you add all your details and don't forget to slide across so you can add your um, color code and your slot which is, let's have a look now. Here, look, receive color code, transmit color code, slot, so slightly to the left. And remember, it saves all these little windows within a window. It's quite cool, really. When you open a window, you, it sort of saves it. Watch. See that? Everything I've opened saves. You have to hit the little minimize. You've got two minimizers. You've got the big one for the main screen, and then you've got the small one for everything you've been opening. And remember to save as you go, because if you don't save as you go, um, it all vanishes, so uh, I'm not really doing this, but I'll just save it anyway. Give it a name. There you are, the name is BB. <laughs> uh, click save. But you get the idea, and then you can import that. Uh, but the best way is just to import from the radio. So just regarding contacts, you double click here, and this is where you would write, you always right click for some reason. Uh, contact the script. Oh, it gives you all instructions here as well. That's good. So. There you are. So click the little minus here on the left. Contact list. So this is where you would add things like TG91, TG80, 2350. And look, if you want to add what, or it's better to just look. If we put this one here and go call it chat three. Chat three. And then go here. Go 2353, let's say. And then select. Uh, group call is what you'd use. Now you've just created a digital contact, so you can now create a channel with that. So if we go, let's just go back to our, I mean, I haven't been doing ham groups and ham contacts. Go back to your zone, click, right click it, or maybe you just click the little plus minus, right click the hotspot, and look, now we're allowed to select. If you look here, let's go over to find our talk group here. So we add a new channel, click add. And then look, click it, and now 2353 three should be in here. because we, uh, we called it chat 3, didn't we? There it is there, chat 3. See how it works. It is usable, and then when you've done it all, save it, and then write it to the radio like so. I haven't got the radio. Job done. Looks good to me. And there's lots of other things. Device info at the top. Basic parameters. Common menus. Look at this. SMN device reco oh, records. Surprised you haven't got Bluetooth, local set, zone set, scan, call log, SMS, never done SMS before, VFO, 
VFO mode. And, look, and at the bottom, whenever you use anything on this code plug, at the bottom, it's always trying to help you. It's always saying, look, you read the bottom bit, it gives you instructions of what you're doing. And it's like any code plug, it's complicated when you've never used it. Digital alarm list, what's that? Scan list, receive group. So, yeah, you can select what you're going to receive. Quick message. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? So I'm sure you can do all this on the Anytone 878. So anyway, and look, when you change the buttons here, preset buttons, see that? It changes, it shows you what you're going to be doing. and Very cool, isn't it? So uh, we well, hope this helps you. We're talking about the DB25 and the new Radiority GD88 APRS 73. Please like and subscribe to my channel. All the best.